We're back. Uh, a lion? Regina, I mean Miss Regina Barry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. Hmm, so then what happened to Echo's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? Um... I think so. Because obviously the lion couldn't help... help that. I suppose it was truly an accident. It's essential that a man knows when to give up, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Hmm. It's impossible to prove Regina's involvement in a murder attempt, isn't it? Ha! Instigating a lion to attack. Who's ever heard of something like that? And to think that the defense claimed this was conclusive evidence. Ugh. A small bottle of pepper. A lion? What's their connection? Ah! Right as, right as, he, right as he did that, I thought in my head. What's the matter, Nick? I figured it out. Wow, it was right in front of my nose the entire time. Your Honor, wait. What is it? The lion biting bat was no accident at all. What? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There is no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. I know this! She may have incited the lion to attack another human being, but Regina was responsible for making the lion bite Akro's brother, Bat. Wait, what? For biting... Bat. Oh, there's pepper on this! Oh, man! Oh, man! So maybe the lion closing his mouth was him sneezing! Because of the pepper! I am a genius. Take that! That's, that's just a scarf. Acro. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who is the one that gave this scarf to Bat? Re Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina. There is something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the accident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Oh my god. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? <laughs> Look at the bird. Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal. But out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um, Regina gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where is the crime in that? It still seems like the judge doesn't, doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix Wright, wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Well, I it, you, you kind of make a smiling face when you sneeze. Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lion smile? I've never heard of them smiling, however. Lion sneeze? What, 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 what? <laughs> Leon didn't plan on biting Bat at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. Oh. That's the case right there. He sneezed because of all the pepper spread on the scarf. What? You fool! <laughs> you fool! Oh gosh, alright. She cannot be a Gilbert Godfrey. I've decided. <laughs> Anyways. You've got to be kidding me. What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I, I, I object for objection's sake. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, this theory, you believe it? You really, you really plan to say that j this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do, it's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Akron nearly lost his brother due to, to this accident, or this joke, as you put it, and that's why he murdered Regina. Well, he tried to murder Regina. Which is why he tried to get his, get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot. Hmm. So it's a joke of an accident to you, huh? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the, the respect it deserves. 
Are you telling me that what I said was true? Uh, Apple! You don't mean, you can't mean, witness? Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been, evidence. If I drop Max's bust on top of the ringmaster, where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh, hmm, you mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof to be more precise. Murder weapon? The bust of the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Akro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you've got to do something! This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. It might be worthwhile to search Akro's room, but... Well, we didn't find anything in there, so... Why aren't you going to search his room? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Bond Karma Total Justice. I guess I figured with you that's the least I should expect. You leave no stone unturned. A Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akko's room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akko would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright? The bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by a complete surprise, and we took Akko directly to the prosecutor's office after that. Oh, man. End of story. Just wait a second, something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like the coupe de grace in this case was ever so sweet. But, but, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the important evidence here is about the death of the ringmaster. I think you should remember that. Ugh! Do something, Nick! Don't let this case slip away! The bus, where is it now? Hmm, where's the bus right now? You're Phoenix Wright, you know where that bust is, I'm sure you do! There's not even a single clue, how am I supposed to know where the bust is? Are you kidding me? It seems as if this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter-arguments look to have fallen short. Ugh! Oh, that's okay, because I think we're gonna come back right here. Thank you for your support. Ah! Now if you'll please excuse me, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end the cross-examination of this witness. Hold it? Yeah! Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its place. I mean, case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time to do what? Ow! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Is he talking to me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck! Hey, wait! You can't be serious! Acrobats always have their lives on the line, don't they? That's how Acrobats lived his life up until now! Now it's time for us to walk across our own Cairo. If we don't, we're certain to lose! Very well, the defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walk in the Cairo from logic, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. The murder weapon. Where is Max's bus now? Oh. Ugh. I don't think it's the big. I don't think. I don't think it's the big top. It seems like courtroom is the way to go. It seems pretty obvious. Let's try it. Oh wait. Okay, oh, I see my game. Yeah, baby. One step ahead. Suck on that. Von Karma. It's obvious, the bus is inside this very courtroom. It's obvious? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. Shoot. Witness chair. Acro, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. 
Well, you are a big guy and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. Oh. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding under anything under that blanket because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bus is under there. We all know that you couldn't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over, which is why you had to hide it, and the only place that you could hide it, under your wheelchair. Which is why, Akro, I have to ask you again, could you please remove the blanket from the wheelchair? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. Oh my god! You! You fool! How could you? <gasps> You've got me. I've been backed by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Franziska Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. Strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon? There's no way I can escape that. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm, it all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. I failed. Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. Yeah, you're an idiot. It doesn't matter now, though. It seems as if we've arrived at the truth. Acro? Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the very big circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro! All my brother did was want Regina to like him. That's why he'd tease her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf in pepper. I know she didn't want anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believed in that so purely that she would laugh innocent, innocently when saying it. Too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to go, get, do something about Regina. What do you mean by that? So are you saying that you do you are a victim in all of this as well? No, that's not what I mean. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first I thought I'd kill myself, then I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. That was... this is crazy. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Oh man. This has been such a strange case. No! Durr, Sherlock! Oh my god. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Bam! Bam! This case is done. Stupidest case ever. Done. I hope we don't get any more stupid cases like this. This court is adjourned. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I have a headache. I have a huge headache. Oh. Fabulous! Alright. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this up when we come back. Stay tuned.